taking the first step into a larger world. This is Sheila Aliens, and today is December 17th, 2011. I am at space.com. Russia's troubled Phobos grunt probe, stuck in the wrong orbit for more than a month, appears to be headed for a fiery and uncontrolled fall back to Earth early next month. Tracking experts are predicting that Phobos grunt will re enter Earth's atmosphere on January 9th, 2012. But at present, the forecast includes an uncertainty of plus or minus five and a half days. They have the technology to put GPS on everything that they send up there. I don't see any excuse not to. I mean, it's going to be below the GPS satellites at some point. So... They, have, they should always have GPS on things that they send up there, but that's kind of like a duh thing. And I'm sure I'm not the first one to tell them that. So it just makes you think, why are they playing dumb again? So among the pieces that are going to be falling back down, one that's expected to survive is the sample return capsule. The nose cone-shaped hardware was designed to transport specimens of Phobos to Earth and it was built to speed through Earth's atmosphere and make a crash landing at a recovery site without a parachute. Bigger things have fallen down and not hurt anybody. And what can you do? If it's something falling from the sky, if it's going to hit you, it's going to hit you. So don't even worry about it, but it's good to be aware of when it's coming down, you know. Maybe you can catch a glimpse of it if you're looking up at the sky or something. So, as of right now, January 9th is the official prediction date for most scientists, but there's some that are saying January 1st or 2nd, but they're tracking this all day, every day. They are sharing observations that they get from their personal telescopes and just kind of calibrating those with each other to keep track of this thing. And that's the best we can do. Because they don't have GPS on the thing. Alright, thanks for watching. Yeah.